Good afternoon. Uh, Massachusetts Attorney General Martha Coakley. Uh, with me this afternoon is Assistant Attorney General Jonathan Miller on my right um, from the Civil Rights Division of the Attorney General's Office, and to my left is the Chief of the Civil Rights Division, Maura Healy. There's approval for at least who's here. Um, in, in this month of July, as we have just celebrated the 4th of July and our Independence Day and the signing of the Declaration of Independence, uh, we, or at least some of us, are reminded uh, that the phrase all men are created equal at the time really referred to only certain men, uh, and at that only certain men who owned property. Uh, much has clearly changed in this country since 1776, as, as our country grew, our population grew, and our Bill of Rights and the interpretation of them included a rational and evolving sense of what liberty and justice and equality for all meant. It's not as important as to what the Founding Fathers would have done in the 18th century as to what their vision, based upon their espoused principle at the time, would do today. And we believe that as Massachusetts in 2004, when our Supreme Judicial Court interpreted those words of John Adams in our Constitution, upon which the U.S. Constitution is based, to mean that if the state of Massachusetts is to confer rights and responsibilities to some married couples, it must provide equally to all couples who choose to assume those rights and responsibilities. Today, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts filed a lawsuit in federal district court challenging the constitutionality of Section 3 of the Federal Defense of Marriage Act, otherwise known as DOMA. In 2004, as I mentioned, Massachusetts became the first state to end the exclusion of same-sex couples from marriage. And since that time, more than 16,000 committed and qualified same-sex couples have married in our state. Our families, our communities, and even our economy have seen the many important benefits that have come from recognizing equal marriage rights and, frankly, no downside. However, we've also seen how many of our married residents and their families are being hurt by a discriminatory, unprecedented, and we believe unconstitutional federal law. The Defense of Marriage Act, enacted in 1996, creates a federal definition of marriage limited to a union between one man and one woman. What this means is that for married same-sex couples in Massachusetts, they are not recognized as married for purposes of all federal laws. We're taking this action today because, first, we believe that DOMA directly interferes with Massachusetts' longstanding sovereign authority to define and regulate the marital status of its residents, which, by the way, all states have enjoyed until this instance, the ability to define and regulate the marital status of its, of its residents. Massachusetts has a single category of married persons, and we view all married persons equally and identically. DOMA divides that category into two distinct and unequal classes of marriage in our state by denying hundreds of rights and protections to married same-sex couples and their families. Second, we believe that DOMA is a discriminatory law that unfairly penalizes married same-sex couples and their families. And third, DOMA puts Massachusetts in the difficult position of choosing between complying with the mandates of federal programs that require Massachusetts to disregard marriages that are valid under our state law or risk losing federal funding by ensuring that Massachusetts residents are treated equally under our Constitution. DOMA is an act, as I mentioned, enacted in 1996 by our Congress. It was passed in anticipation that the state of Hawaii would recognize the right of same-sex couples to marry. It has two substantive provisions, Section 3, which is the one we challenge today. It defines marriage as the union between one man and one woman for the purpose of all federal laws and regulations. And I should mention that the other substantive provision, Section 2, is not challenged in our lawsuit. That establishes that no state shall be required to recognize a same-sex marriage that is entered into in another state. That provision is known as the full faith and credit provision, and it is not challenged today by us in this lawsuit. But what DOMA does mean for Massachusetts couples with the application of Section 3 is that access to over 1,100 important rights and protections that directly affect couples and their families uh, are affected. These include federal income tax credits, employment and retirement benefits, health insurance coverage, 
and Social Security payments. The following are examples of some of the rights and protections that are denied to those couples. Income tax, for example. Married couples have the option to file jointly, which can enable them to pay lower taxes. Spouses can contribute portions of their income to IRAs of their spouses, not in, not in Massachusetts who are otherwise legally married. The gift tax. Spouses have an unlimited ability to make gifts and transfer property to one another without incurring tax consequences, but not for single-sex couples in Massachusetts. Flexible spending accounts, Social Security spousal benefits, Medicare, medical leave, public safety officer benefits. For example, spouses of public safety officers, police officers or firefighters, and military veterans are entitled to health care coverage annuities and tuition fees, as well as survivor benefits if their spouse is killed in the line of duty, but not in Massachusetts for those same-sex couples. Because of DOMA, all of those above rights and protections are denied to married same-sex couples and their families. As I mentioned, same-sex couples have been married quite successfully in Massachusetts for over five years. They are entitled to equal treatment under the laws regardless of whether they are gay or straight. Married same-sex couples seek nothing more than to be treated fairly and equally, like all other married couples, with all of the protections and responsibilities that come with marriage. And we seek that in our lawsuit today. I might add that it is my belief that because it has been so successful in Massachusetts that other states, particularly in New England, have followed our lead. And we believe uh, that the move towards equality in this country will dictate uh, that it is uh, only fair and just that same-sex marriages be recognized. But our lawsuit, again, is confined to Massachusetts and the impact of DOMA on Massachusetts. It affects the Commonwealth as we are an employer. The Commonwealth issues family health policies to its employees. These employees may obtain health care coverage for their spouses. But because of Section 3 of DOMA, the Commonwealth must withhold additional federal taxes from married individuals and same-sex couples who choose to cover their spouses and their health insurance plans. Different sex spouses do not pay the extra income tax because health care coverage for those spouses does not count as taxable income under the federal tax code. DOMA, through its application to the Internal Revenue Code, requires Massachusetts to be part of discrimination against same-sex couples and, frankly, creates a paperwork nightmare and an unnecessary burden as we have this two-tiered system of bookkeeping for all of these benefits. <clears throat> 